What's going on, guys? I'm with the Moose, and today we have new football outsiders in the game. Of course, Olivier Vernon or Olivier Vernon. Never know how to say that dude's name, but it's something like that. Right end for the Dolphins. He's a 92 overall. They got to start up in these overalls. They keep, it feels like every single Friday, the new limited time player is a 92 overall. It's ridiculous. So he's going for 350k right now. There's only two up, which is kind of surprising. A couple hours into this, actually about two and a half hours into these being out in the game right now. And there's still not many of him up. I'm guessing that's because people aren't just aren't that excited about it. There's not that many great players in this, uh, you know, drop. You know, they're cool. I like Olivier Vernon. He's a really cool player. 89 speed is fantastic, along with 95 power move. Block shot a little low. I want to compare him to Fletcher Cox. I just got him a couple days back. Fletcher actually crushes him, in my opinion. Wow. A little slower, but honestly, Fletcher's not even that slow for an end. Um, I don't see any reason to upgrade to this Olivier Vernon, to be completely honest. He is not worth any more than Fletcher Cox, and Fletcher Cox only sells for like 150k, and Vernon's going for 350. No way I'm paying that. No chance. So, cool card, but just too expensive right now. Also got a new Carson Palmer, finally, but honestly, it's not that great. They kind of shafted him, I'm not going to lie. Let's take a look at it. Only 10k right now. Wow, if you guys need a budget quarterback, he'd probably do the job for you, because he is pretty good. But honestly, he's not, you know, not as good as you'd think with an 88 overall rating. Because a 74 speed, not that great. But, I mean, it's Carson Palmer. What do you expect? 94 throw power, 94 throw accuracy short, and 90 throw accuracy mid. Those are all pretty good, but they could be better. And then 82 throw accuracy deep is just terrible. I don't know what's up with that. He actually throws the ball deep a lot. Um, the Cardinals basically play that way all the time. And he's just not good for, you know, the rating. The 88 overall rating, I don't think, suits him at all. So, I don't know. That card's not really that great for me. But if you do need a quarterback that's, like, under 10K... He actually could be an option because he's probably worth about that. So let's take a look at Darren Sproles. I'm failing on spelling his name right now. He's the final elite we got this week. Uh, there's a couple other guys. Did I spell his name wrong? I think I did. Wow. There's supposed to be an R there. That was a fail. So let's go again. Darren Sproles. Around 12K right now. Pretty cool card. Looks pretty cool, honestly. 86 overall. 90 speed. Not as fast as you'd hope for a Darren Sproles card. 97 agility, though, is good. And 90 excel. Could be better, but not too bad. Uh, 91 carry is solid, 95 ball carry vision is very good, and then 93 juke move. So honestly, cool card. Um, I'm not a huge fan. If he was like a 93 speed, I'd probably be very you know hyped about this card. I'd probably get it right away. But 90 speed, a little bit low for me. So that's about it. We also had a Stephone Anthony, who's like an 82 overall, and then some offensive lineman who's like an 84. But don't really care too much about those guys. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the new football outsiders. Let's take a look at what the packs are. The situation is uh, we got game changer packs, of course. Let's see exactly what they give. Guaranteed gold or better badge, at least 10 or elite, or at least 10 gold or elite players, I should say, and then four other team items. So pretty decent. You can buy two singles if you wanted to. And they're also only in the game for a day. So we'll see what comes out tomorrow. There are new legends coming out tomorrow. We have some crazy ones. We got Ronnie Lott and Michael Irvin, the GOAT from my Dallas Cowboys. So hopefully we'll be able to pick up Irvin and hopefully they put out legend packs tomorrow because obviously these are coming out. These game changers are coming out tomorrow. So we'll see. Legend packs would be sweet and I might actually open a bundle. If, uh, if they put Legend Packs in the game. So, 8 Game Changer Pack Bundle gives you a Flashback Topper, but it's 8,000 points, kind of a lot. And then the 2 Game Changer Pack Bundle just gives you a random Schefter Star from the 1210 release, which cannot honestly remember who that was. That was yesterday. Uh, you know, honestly, I don't even know. I can't keep track of it right now, but not that hyped about that. I'm not going to lie. Let's just go back to Pro Packs. We'll open a few, maybe like 5 or 6. Why not? I mean, test our luck. See if we can get the Olivier Vernon if we can. Maybe I'll make like 300k off of it. Even though I'm pretty sure he's not worth that much, but we'll see. Got a Max Williams here, not a bad pull, 84 overall, road to the playoffs card. Uh, probably sells for about 2k or so, six foot four, decent stats and everything. Run block's kind of low. I mean, it is a gold, so I'm not going to expect too much out of it, but uh, pretty cool pull to start us off. Not terrible, not bad. I'm just looking for no 75s, and we get a 73 Ryan Hewitt. Is this dude in the Bengals set? I doubt it, but we'll see. No, he's not, but I mean, like any other 73, 72, or 74 overall player. Just going to save him for a future set. Hopefully there is a future set for him. Got a Xavier Rhodes here. That's actually a good pull as well. He goes for about 5K. That's actually a very solid cornerback. Pretty decent. I think uh, I almost threw him in on cheap cuts, but he was a little too expensive for it. That's how much uh, how good he is, actually. Latavius Murray actually threw him on cheap cuts. I'll leave a link to that video down. Um, or actually in the top right of your screen, little I button in the top right there. You can watch cheap cuts for running backs. He is actually the super budget card this week for uh, running backs. So... Very good item, but honestly, not uh, you know, not the most coins for me. So, not gonna be making much off of that pack. Got pack number four right here. Come on, give me some luck. Give me some football outsiders. Not here. D Law though. Demarcus Lawrence, solid pull there. Solid cowboy. Really excited about who, what he's gonna do in the future. 82 speed, 91 excel. Wow, 93 power move. That's pretty darn good. Everything except for the block shot at 73 is actually very solid. So, not a bad card at all. 
might actually consider putting him at like uh, you know back of left end or something like that so a couple more packs left in me see if I can clutch out somebody crazy that would be sweet that would be amazing haven't gotten anything in a while I don't think come on at least give me a lead right here nope Reggie Bush 77 overall I do think he's kind of fast though no he's not 87 speed I guess maybe his loyalty card I know he had some card that was really fast uh, at the beginning of the year I guess that was not though 87 speed is just terrible but alas, two more packs. I think we're going to do two more. Let's get it. Let's see if we're going to get anything here. Kelvin Beecham. I guess I'll take an 82 overall pull, but not that excited about it. One last pack. One last hurrah. Let's see if we can get anything good. Pro pack number six, seven, something like that. Somewhere in that range. Hopefully we get something nasty. And then tomorrow, hopefully we get that Mike Irvin. Nope. Dwayne Bow, 82 overall. So nothing much in these packs. You know, they weren't terrible, though. I got a bunch of 80 overall pulls, which is always solid. But overall... Nothing crazy. No football outsiders popped out, and that's actually what we were going for. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. And let me know if you're excited about that, uh, you know, new Olivier Vernon. I'm really not that high on it, but maybe you guys like it a lot. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.